my channel. If you're new here, I'm Lisa, also known as La Dolce Lisa. And I'm finally filming again because I feel like for the last little while I've been doing a lot of vlogging. So it's good to actually sit down in my room and film a video for you guys. And I know this is one you guys tend to like because this is a clothing haul. Of course, a try-on clothing haul as usual. It's of course affordable. I feel like everything is around the $30 and under mark. So I got a lot of things on sale and if they weren't on sale, it was still a pretty good price. And the best part about this haul is that it is a fall clothing haul. <laughs> One thing that I also should mention in this fall haul is that unlike my usual hauls where sometimes I stick to a specific store, this one I pretty much stuck to my favorite stores but there's a whole bunch. So there's quite a few things from Forever 21, Urban Planet, some things from H&M, and I think one thing from Zara. So it's quite versatile but always affordable. So guys, let's see what I got for the fall season. Okay, first things first, I'm going to start with the smallest and then work my way up to the things that I got the most of, which is probably at Forever 21. So let's start with Zara. I only got one thing at Zara other than this top. This is actually a cute crop top. I couldn't resist wearing it because I felt like it was so fall inspired. And lately I'm liking things with a higher neckline because I just feel like it's more suited for the chillier weather that we have going on in the fall. So now the next thing in this haul that I got, this was on a major sale. It doesn't even have the tag here. So let's just see the details. Um, this is in a size medium. I saw it on the rack at Zara when they were having like a huge sale. I think they're just getting rid of some things. I wrote the price that I ended up paying on the tag over here because there was a tag missing. I paid this $12.99. I don't know the original price, but I'm guessing it was at least $40 and up because I have not seen um, one of these, I guess they're called pinafore dresses or something like that. One of these little dresses on sale pretty much ever. So to get it for $12.99 is an absolute steal. So it has these buttons on the skirt area that you're supposed to button up. And of course, it's going to have an extremely deep V. So I would definitely wear these with a top underneath, just maybe like a plain white top. These style dresses are so cute and they're perfect for the fall season. The material is thick and you could tell it's a really good quality. So I'm so happy that I found one of these on sale for $12.99. I thought this was such a cute piece for the fall season and I found it on sale at Zara so it was just really lucky. Okay, and next at H&M, I have three things to talk about. I purchased, first off, this beautiful top. I purchased this top before I ended up going to Urban Planet because I got a lot of basic tops there for such an affordable price, so I almost wish I would've went there first. But this one is a nice, really good, thick quality and the price wasn't too bad. So I got this in a size small and it is $19.99. I didn't end up getting this on sale. But the good thing about this turtleneck is that it is a little bit thick, but it is also form fitting and it is not too, too thick. So I wanted it to actually be tight in order to wear it tucked into skirts. Or even I could wear it with that outfit that I just showed you previously from Zara. I think that would look so cute. And of course, a turtleneck is going to keep you nice and warm and cozy for the fall season. I love that it is long sleeve. The price was pretty good considering, but I have a couple good deals coming up pretty soon that I'm going to show you guys. But for the most part, you can't really go wrong with a basic like this because I'll probably be wearing this a lot. You could do a lot with this, so I was very excited to find this and the price wasn't too bad. Next, when I was at H&M, I also picked up this top. This is in a size medium. The original price was $29.99, but I got this for $5.99. And this is just a black long sleeve wrap top. So you're actually going to have to physically wrap this top up. Are you excited to see this, Looney? Are you excited, Bubba? She's really hyper right now because my sister just left. So now she thinks it's playtime. So I thought this was really pretty and I'm actually looking for more tops that I can wear paired with even just like jeans or tights and things like that. Something that's a little bit longer, not my usual crop top. So I thought that this was really good and $6 Canadian is a steal. So I was really happy to have found this on sale. This was very reminiscent of fall. It looks to be cozy. This material is unlike anything I've ever really worn. It is very textured and super pretty. And of course a basic black is something that you can never go wrong with. So I'm very excited that I found this. I would have never really paid the full price $30 for this. So I'm happy that I found it on sale. And last at H&M is actually a pretty blazer. Luna's been really eyeing this blazer. So I just want to show it and get it over with. 
unlike the usual clothes that I have that are stuffed into these bags and quite wrinkly, I decided to hang this blazer up, which is probably a good idea. So I got this in a size six. The original price was $39.99 and I think they were having like um, if you were a member you get a certain percentage off of like one item in store. So I found this blazer and I thought that $40 for a blazer is actually a great price but I ended up getting it for $31 because I had 20% off and it is this beautiful powder blue blazer. It is a long sleeved but the sleeves are rolled up and I think I actually like it that way. It seems to be quite the long blazer with a collar, but the collar is not too big, so it looks really, really pretty. I can see this looking really cute with like a pair of jeans and a crop top underneath, or I mean, you could just throw it over even a dress, I guess, in the fall time if you're going to a really nice event. So I thought it was a, actually a great find. So even if, of course, you can't find this on sale, $40 for a blazer is great. I, of course, paid this $31, which just made me feel a little bit better. <laughs> Next is Urban Planet. I think I bought only tops and a lot of them are basics. So let's just get this unbasic top over with first. This is a crop top and this was in a size medium. The original price was $19.99. I paid this $15 or $14.49 or something like that. I can't remember, but it was on sale. And this is a long sleeve crop top that is also a V-neck. I really liked the long sleeve aspect of it and I like this specific stripe pattern, especially for the fall time. It is in a really nice army green color with this white stripe going down and I thought that this was really pretty. I would definitely wear this with probably some high-waisted pants and I thought that this was such a nice find. I don't really have a top like this at all. I recently cleaned out my closet and my drawers and I donated a lot of clothing and I got to assess what I had and what I didn't have which is why I am buying a lot more basics lately but I thought that a top like this was so pretty and unique and it is definitely a statement piece and perfect for the fall season. Speaking of basics, I got this in a size small. The original price was $15.99. I got this for $7.19. And this is similar to that white one that you saw from H&M. This is a black long sleeve turtleneck. The material is a little bit thinner than the one from H&M, but it is still nice and warm and cozy. I like that this is going to be form fitting and I will definitely be tucking this into skirts and things like that, like I always say. I thought it was so great. And what I like about Urban Planet is that I feel like the sizes are a little bit more generous. Whereas with Forever 21, I'm always having to size up. I feel like Urban Planet, sometimes you even have to size down just depending how you want to wear this. I sort of wanted this to be more form-fitting, which is why I got it in a size small. I like turtlenecks for this time of year, but not just turtlenecks. I got another black top. Now this black top is a high neck. It's not a turtleneck. This is in a size medium. The original price was $11.99 and I paid this $7.19 as well. Now very, very similar style top, but instead of being a complete turtleneck that you're going to have to fold over, this is sort of more similar to the shirt that I have going on right now. So it is just a high neck. Looney, you like that? There are some little um, crinkles at the edges on the sleeves, very similar to the one that I'm wearing now, and even on the bottom area. I like the fact that this looks to be a crop top, but also longer so that I can tuck this in as well. Oh my goodness, today Luna's just really <laughs> going crazy. So like I said, I kind of regret, but not that I regret because I really like what I bought, but I feel like I paid $20 for that one top from H&M and those two tops, a combined total of not even $20. So Urban Planet was really, really good, especially for basics. Now these next things I can almost talk about together even though they're different because the size and the price is the same. These were both a small, the original price for both of these was $20, but they were having a sale two for 15, which is great. So I of course paid $7.50 for each of these. Like that's sort of the price range on all of their items, but these seem to be a little bit better of a quality. And now this was the pretty much only V-neck top that I got because the previous white shirt was a turtleneck. This is actually a little bit of a V-neck, which is still very nice and very flattering on a lot of people I find. Long sleeve, of course. It is this textured material. <laughs> now she's playing with her bone. 
<laughs> it is this textured material and it just looks very cozy again tight a little bit thin so you might be able to see through it but you'd have to definitely just wear this with a nude bra and I just thought it was so cute I can't wait to just fill my wardrobe with more basics because I realized that that is something that I was missing this was part of that deal I told you the size I told you the price but this is a turtleneck very 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 pretty this quality feels really really nice and like so baby soft but not itchy thankfully I hate when tops are itchy I really liked this nude turtleneck I think it's beautiful a lot of my basic shirts have a lot in common in the sense that I plan on tucking them in but of course guys you don't have to because these are not crop crop tops they're just going to be like tighter than the usual top but I of course love to wear these tops tucked in so this is why I didn't want to get just crop tops but I wanted to get shirts that were a little bit longer but still tight so they'll look good tucked into skirts and I bought a lot of skirts at Forever 21 guys so I'm going to be showing you why I have all of these tops for all of these skirts I mentioned skirts, so let's do the skirts first. I'm excited to talk about them. This skirt I got in a size large. I have to get all my skirts in a size large at Forever 21 because they are so short and this one is no exception, right Looney? It's no exception. I paid this $24, which was probably more than I would have liked to spend, but the quality on this is really good and it's a beautiful skirt. It has a zipper at the back and now this is really no stretch at all. So I know that this is actually going to be more form fitting than the usual skirts that I would like, but I thought that the pattern was so beautiful. This beautiful black and white plaid pattern. All my skirts I think I'm going to be showing you are plaid because I'm just so in the mood for that for the fall season. And I was actually inspired by Clueless with this outfit, probably with a lot of these outfits, but there's a scene where Cher is wearing like a sheer white top over a skirt that has sort of a similar pattern. Instead of being squared, I think it's like diamond, but I was very inspired by her, so all I need is the sheer top and I'm sure <laughs> that I really like this and $24.90 is actually not bad for a skirt like this. It is a good quality skirt and I will be hopefully getting a lot of use out of it, so I really like this. Speaking of plaid and speaking of things that are not stretchy, this is one of them. I got this again in a size large. This was $26.99, but they were having a sale on Forever 21, so I got this for $21.59, which was more my speed. This has a button to keep the skirt together, but if you unbutton it, it's really just one long piece of fabric. So you'll have to close it and button it to keep it together. And I really like this. I love the plaid and I love this color scheme for the fall season. It is beautiful. I know this probably looks like someone's Catholic schoolgirl uniform, but I couldn't resist. I thought it was so, so, so cute. I really, really love plaid for this time of year. I feel like this year, rather than doing like plaid shirts, I'm just preferring to do plaid skirts and wearing them with just a basic top. I think that is such a cute look. I was really happy to have found this online and I just love it. I love the reds, the blues, and the yellows of this. So pretty. And lastly, for the skirts and for the plaid skirts, this one is a similar theme going on here. Same price as the other one and size. Size large, $26.99 originally. I paid this $21.59 for this beautiful plaid skirt. This one is a little bit more stretchy, it has a little bit more give to it. So even if it will be tight, it will be a little bit more comfortable to wear, that's for sure. I love when the skirts are stretchy. It has a button and a zipper at the front. So let's just zip that up. <laughs> and it's really cute. There's like a belt buckle, so you can even put a belt running through it. And I love the plaid and I love the color scheme. This one is corduroy material. So it's just really comfortable and very just form fitting but super nice. I love the idea of this being black because I just felt like it was so versatile. I mean, I could really wear this with anything, with a nice black top. You can wear this with tights underneath, knee high booties, just how I'd wear all my skirts. But this one is just a little bit less eye catching than the first two that I showed you. So I feel like I can get away with wearing this on a more regular basis. And I just love it. Okay, before I get into sweaters, I'm actually going to show you a dress first. This is the only dress in the entire haul. That's the one sad thing about autumn, guys, is that I'm buying less dresses, and I love dresses. But this one is super, super pretty, and it is very fall-inspired, so I thought it was great. I got this in a size medium, and the original price was $29.99, and that is what I paid because I felt like it was a fair price, so I didn't have to bother waiting for it to go on sale or anything like that. 
It is so pretty. It has this very stretchy um, material in the center, so it will, will really cling to your midriff, but in a good way. I feel like this will be flattering because it then flares out in almost like a baby doll style. And it has a little bit of some overlapping material here, which creates such a pretty look. It also has a tie that goes around the neck, so you can tie it up really tight in a bow. You could tie it a little bit looser, or you could just leave it open altogether and have a more casual look. And I just thought that this pattern, this color, and even this style with the long sleeves just screamed fall to me. So I was so excited to be able to find a fall dress. And I feel like wearing this with a pair of booties would look so cute for the fall time. Or you can dress it up and wear it with a pair of pumps and make it look a little bit more polished. But I think with the booties, it would create that sort of fall feel outfit. And I think that this is just beautiful. So I'm very excited to wear this and happy that I can get away with finding dresses for the fall season because it does get pretty cold in Canada. Next, I have this beautiful long sleeve, thick sweater. I found this at Forever 21 in the plus section. This is a 2X actually. I sometimes like to go in the plus section to buy some nice oversized things. Forever 21 has a beautiful plus size section, so I really like that about them. This was so cute, and the reason why I bought this, even if it might be just too big on me, is just because of the price alone. I paid this, I don't know the original price because it doesn't have the tag, so I wrote it on here. I paid this. 570 guys for this sweater. Now this sweater looks to be quite fall and quite preppy. I don't really know how I'm going to wear this just yet, but I couldn't resist and it's so warm and cozy. And I mean, worst comes to worst, if it doesn't look good on me, I'll probably just wear this around my house to stay warm. I love this mustard yellow color. This is a tricky color because it doesn't look good on everybody, but I feel like if you could pull it off, it's such a beautiful color for the fall season. And I really liked the white and dark blue stripes running down the center. I feel like I'm like throwing my fall style back to like school days or something, but this almost looks like a jockish type sweater. I thought this was really cute and I'm excited. And of course guys, for not even $6 for a sweater like that, I just, I couldn't resist. And last but not least, speak of great deals, this was on sale at Forever 21. You know when they have like sales and then they have 50% off of sales? I believe this is when I got that. Now this is for this beautiful, I would say denim style jacket. I got this in a size medium. The original price was $39.90 and I paid this $7.98. So basically $8 Canadian for this. And it is beautiful. I already tried this on. This is like the one thing that I tried on ahead of time because I just wanted to see how it fit and it's just so easy to throw on. And I will say that I got this in a size medium and I kind of wish I got it in a size small because it is a little bit too oversized. I think that that was sort of supposed to be the style where this is supposed to be oversized, but I would have preferred it was just a little bit more form-fitting. So if you do find this online, I would definitely recommend a sizing down. So I thought that this was really pretty and this was actually a very generous fit. So I really like this. I think that it's very nice and it will be sort of a shorter jacket, but also quite large. So I wonder how this will look on me. <laughs> And that's everything, guys. So if you guys like these kind of videos, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Every subscriber means so much to me. And comment down below and let me know what was your favorite item that I bought or favorite outfit that I tried on for you guys. I would really love to hear your feedback. And of course, I hope that this video could inspire you for some fall shopping. I'm noticing some major trends in the sense that I feel like plaid is very in and skirts for the fall season I feel like is very in, so I'm very excited to rock that style this year. I feel like they're actually quite comfortable if you can get them to be high-waisted and just wear them with a cozy sweater. It's sort of an effortless outfit that looks super polished and chic. So I really am liking the fall style for this year. So of course, guys, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again in my next video. Bye and happy shopping. And of course, now that I'm done filming, Luna is literally passed out, sleeping on my bed. She's been a brat this entire video. So hyped there. And now that I'm done filming, she's just ready for bed. So that's just my luck. <laughs> on the skirt area. Oh. <laughs> she walked all by herself. Good girl, Luna. Okay. Want, I wanted this to be more form fitting. Ah. This little dog is driving me nuts. You're driving me nuts today. Cookie! <laughs> What's the matter? You're my baby. Come, come. Are you okay? You're my good girl. You're my good baby. I love you.